Thomer Dawood's art is rooted in the ancient past, but in his vision, he is aiming toward the future. He knows well the tragic nature of life, but always embraces the beauty that surrounds us. His work gives us hope and joy as we live the mysteries of this sad and beautiful and broken world. In 2005, Thamer and his wife Muntaha fled with their children from their home in Baghdad after militias bombed the street where he was a painter and graphic designer. Like many of his colleagues, he was perceived as cooperating with the Americans and targeted by the militias. He made the decision to leave after his mother was hospitalized in a neighborhood explosion. They fled to Jordan by taxi. After a harrowing six-hour trip, they arrived in Jordan with the clothes on their backs and their modest life savings. In spite of Amman being filled with nearly a million other Iraqi refugees, Thomer found a place to live, obtained design work, and applied for refugee status. In Baghdad, his paintings had been widely exhibited by both prestigious institutions and private galleries. His art became his ticket for admission to the United States in March 2008. In Jordan, Thomer worked on a wall mural project called Pieces in Our Hands. The project gave birth to a joint exhibition for Iraqi and American artists. Rosemary Lane, a retired art professor at the University of Delaware, was instrumental in assembling an exhibit at the Delaware Art Museum and helped Thomer find lodging with the Chester County family. So how did this come about? It was first a Global Peace Initiative of Women. I was invited to that to start a peace initiative for Iraqis. We decided to create an international cultural art network. The woman I bonded with was Lamia Talibani. She's a very well-known artist from Baghdad. And she's also the first cousin of the president of Iraq. But we decided we were going to do a collaborative show between U.S. artists and Iraqi artists. And so she had picked Thammer as one of the up-and-coming, well-known artists, well-respected artists. And we did it across the continents. And it ended up being a really powerful show. And it was shown at the Delaware Art Museum. Uh, he came from my, uh, Jordan, where he had you know, been a refugee to Jordan from Iraq. He came over to, to the opening. Uh, he couldn't go back after he came here because Jordan changed the visa. They said they didn't want any Iraqi refugees back because they were overloaded. He's been here faithfully praying and hoping that he could get his family here. It took a year and a half to get his family here. They just got here in May. While his family was still waiting in Amman for refugee status from the United Nations, Thomer was granted U.S. work and residency permits, and a friend found him a small place to live in Wilmington. In 2009, the U.N.'s refugee agency in Jordan granted Mantaha and the three children refugee status, and their case was referred to the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops Migration and Refugee Services Office in Washington. The church group contacted Catholic Charities in Wilmington, and this group did much to expedite the speedy reunion of the family and have continued to be a major support in their difficult acclimation to American society. My name is Mabel Sturgeon, and I work for Catholic Charities in Wilmington. We knew about this family because um, Mr. Sudani's wife and children came through our agency as refugees. As soon as we knew about their case, we were able to expedite it and, and she came very, very fast, uh, sooner than any other refugee in the past. Mr. Sudani was already here, uh, but he also was just beginning to feel his way in this country. So Catholic Charities was very lucky to find a, 
a foundation that was able to provide him with housing uh, in a very nice place for him and his wife and children. So, it, you know, we think that it's the beginning of a very happy story. We saw his works um, through the internet, everybody loves it, and as I said, our agency is to continue to work on helping him realize his dream in the United States. Uh, this is just, I believe, the beginning of a very, very good life for them, and uh, it, it's going to be a wonderful story. Dahmer was put in touch with Aref A. Aref, a native Palestinian and a retired DuPont chemist. Aref has served as the family's interpreter and main contact with American society. Which he brought in with him, yes. or he did immediately yeah. after he came. Very dark. The, the dark. dark. Black and dark brown yeah. all the time. <laughs> and now all of a sudden, uh, you see bright colors, whether they are red or pink or blue. It's joyous. Uh, and it is joyous. He feels that life is something worthwhile. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's really changed. And without telling us that he's doing that, it's spontaneous. It came yeah. from the inside. Yeah. And Rosemary helped him bringing it here and all that. I helped him by helping him file for political asylum, for yes, residency, yes, and that uh, took uh, the translations of dozens, if not hundreds of documents, and his file was like this thick, and we translated articles, translated the form, completed forms and everything, and took him all over. Finally, after a year or so, things opened up. And hopefully his wife and his kids came along and his life also was in, enriched by their arrival. We met because my wife is an official translator with the state and recommended somebody her. recommended her so she started and then she couldn't cope with the demand so I got in and uh, I started to cover practically. Yeah, you, you <laughs> and I'm retired so uh, I have uh, plenty of time. Our top priority right now is for him to learn English yeah. because he's a, an excellent uh, graphic. graphic designer, yeah. excellent and innovative in that field. He's a good and very prolific artist and all what we, we need is for him to communicate with the society he is living in. His wife doesn't speak a word of English. His children, the only hope that they have is that this daughter. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> she's very good. She's a cool head also. She's not, and she's in school now. So within three, four months, I think she's going to be there, the, the educator <laughs> and the translator. So what is your name again? Dina Dawood. And is, do you like your dad's art? Yeah. Do you like to do art? Yeah. What, do you like to color? Yeah. And I am an artist. You're an artist also? Very good. Is it fun? Yeah. And where do you go to school? Um, Brandon's Ring. So do you have some nice friends now? Yeah. How about, are you learning English pretty fast? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> is your little brother a nice kid or is he, uh, is he hard to be around? Um, he doesn't need to play with anyone. He'll play with anyone? Yeah. Oh, God. So, is your dad very happy about his art show? Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah.